This is the 2023 Honda Ridgeline. And while there are no changes for 2023, make sure to leave your comments down in the comments section and tell Honda what you would like to see change. There may be changes for 2024. We don't have word on that just yet. One thing that has not changed beyond the Ridgeline itself is the fact that so many people are out there saying the Ridgeline is not really a truck. And sometimes people even bring up the Chevrolet Silverado and the Ford F-150. Folks, this is not a full-size truck. It is a truck, but it's a mid-size truck. And it has things that trucks have. It has the ability to haul people like other trucks. It has the ability to tow. While it tows up to 5,000 pounds, well, for the average person who's buying a mid-sized truck, that is definitely going to be enough. It has a truck bed, which means it can haul things, just like other trucks. Those numbers, if you're curious, for payload range between 1,509 and 1,583 pounds. And yes, it even has blinkers, like other trucks, although not everybody who owns a truck uses their blinkers, and I'm sure not everybody who owns a Ridgeline uses their blinkers either. And while this truck has the conventional opening tailgate, that is basically where the similarities end. How many trucks can you buy on the market, at least mid-sized trucks, that come standard all-wheel drive, at least as of 2021, as is the case with the Ridgeline. And also, you can open the tailgate like this, and there is a very specific reason for that, because something else that no other mid-sized truck on the market has an in-bed trunk. And yes, the Santa Cruz does have that, but it's not nearly this big. This is a very large bed trunk that you can use in a multitude of ways. You can put ice in there to ice down drinks and snacks, kind of making this the ultimate tailgating truck. If you show up at the tailgating events before football games with your friends and family, well, guess what? They're not going to be able to do this with their trucks. And even better than that, when that ice is melted down and all the drinks and snacks are gone, there's a handy dandy drain plug down there that allows you to drain the water out. You can also use this area to hose off dirty gear at the end of a day of working or playing in the mud or whatever you've been doing and clean things off and then you can drain all of that water out, clean everything out. It's very simple. And there's one more thing that I think really sets this truck apart for the right group of people. And that is the fact that unlike any other truck on the market of really any size, especially mid-size or full-size, it has a very smooth and compliant ride. That's thanks to independent rear suspension. Who exactly defines what a truck really is anyway? Well, based on the definition of a truck that you can find online, this is a truck. And part of that definition is not, it has to have a harsh ride quality. And in case you're planning to buy a Ridgeline and maybe you're looking into one of these for the very first time, I do have other videos that go into far more detail than this one, but I will tell you what's under the hood. There is one option available. It's the 3.5 liter V6. It does make 280 horsepower and 262 pounds-feet of torque. It's mated to a nine-speed automatic transmission. And like I said earlier, as of 2021, front-wheel drive, which used to be standard, all-wheel drive is optional. All-wheel drive is now the only option available for this truck. You can no longer get it with front-wheel drive. Tell Honda down in the comments if you would like to see a rear-wheel drive version of the Ridgeline. There's a lot of benefits that would come of that. And MPGs, 18 miles per gallon city, 24 out on the highway, 21 combined. And Honda says you should use 4.8 gallons of gas for every 100 miles you drive. And to make that a little bit easier to understand, this Ridgeline has a 19 and a half gallon gas tank. And for those who may be asking, hey Tom, what are the reasons that people give as to why they think the Ridgeline is not a real truck? There are two reasons. Because of its unibody construction, it's not your typical on-frame body as is the case with pretty much every other truck on the market for the most part. So that means modifications are somewhat limited and I can understand that but that still doesn't mean it's not a truck, as is reason number two, the lack of low range gearing. But I'll tell you what, down the road, if Honda were to change some of these things, it would be very interesting to see what that would do to the market for the Ridgeline. Now it's your turn to talk. No matter which side of the fence you are on, whether you believe the Ridgeline is really a truck or whether you believe it's not, it's your turn to sound off down in the comments. Not that you need my permission to do that because you're going to probably do that anyway. 
but it is always interesting to read comments from owners and from people who are not owners who believe the Ridgeline isn't a truck, mainly because they've seen other people say the same thing and they agree with it. But no matter what the case is, it should be entertaining to read your comments. I gotta say a special thanks to my friends here at Holmes Honda for loaning me this Ridgeline for the day and all of you for being kind enough to take the time to watch and give me the opportunity to give you a vision for, well, maybe your next vehicle right here or whatever it is. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn about other vehicles, check out the video that's on the screen right now and I'll see you there.